what's up everybody we're back with another g fuel video and today's video we finally got the new m fam punch hydration box we're going to be taking a closer look at this and giving this thing a taste with that being said make sure you guys drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you guys in a couple seconds Alrighty, guys so first things first i'm gonna show you guys the artwork of the box before we go ahead and crack this thing open so some of you guys don't know who Nick Merckx is, you should probably go find out because he is a very, very, very fire-ass streamer. Um, right now, he's streaming more uh, of Apex Legends, but before, you know, he was streaming stuff like Warzone, um, Call of Duty multiplayer, a little bit of Fortnite in between there. But yeah, now he's literally focusing on Apex, which is a really good thing. He makes really good content. But here's the front of the box. So... I don't know if you guys have known, but there is a M-Fam Punch can, and I did review that a while ago. I can have that pop up at the end screen here later on in the video. And they finally decided to make a, a first hydration tub collector's box. So this is the official first, you know, collector's box for a hydration tub. Normally, you know, the energy formula, they get the collector's boxes, but here it is. So right now, I think this design is pretty nice to me. I'm really more excited um, for the shaker. I do have the original um, Amp Amp shaker. It was pretty cool. It wasn't, I just felt like it was a little bland. And I think this shaker is a little bit better, so I can't wait to take this out the box. We're not gonna be drinking out of the shaker though, guys. I like to uh, show you guys the color. So I'm gonna use, you know, a translucent shaker. But here's the side. Here's that. Okay, so a little bit about M Fam Punch. Now, a lot of people in the community seem to think this is comparable to Fruit Punch. Now, I thought it was too when it first dropped, but guys, M Fam Punch is not um, Fruit Punch at all. So I don't want you guys to kind of think um, it's supposed to be the same as Fruit Punch. It's totally different than that. As you guys can see, we have some strawberries on this box, a little bit of pineapple. Um, again, it's totally different, but let's open this thing up. All right, so boom. So here's the shaker. I think the shaker is really, really nice. Out of, you know, the first and the second one, I definitely think this one's better. I would use this one um, if I wanted to, but here's the artwork for that. Really nice. Um, low key though, for the black, you can kind of see through it a little bit. Like it's not a solid black color in person. I don't know if you guys can tell, you know, through this video, but um, you, you're definitely gonna be able to see a little bit of what's inside when you um, drink out of this. Here's the insert, here's that. Really, really nice. Anyway, let's take a look at this. All right, here we have the tub. Now, I'm gonna say this again for some of the people that's new and watch me. Um, hydration is literally the same thing as the regular energy formula, except for hydration does not have the caffeine. So if you're one of those people like me who sit here and drink G Fuel all day and you don't wanna stay up all night, I recommend you guys getting some hydration um, tubs and they're really good. I think there's only one that's not that great. Um, you guys are welcome to try it. Everybody's you know, opinion is different, but the strawberry lemonade is not that good. Um, everything else is pretty decent to me. So make sure you guys go ahead and um, give those a try. Anyway, like I said, these come in what, 30 servings. Um, the energy tubs come in 40, so slightly smaller and it is cheaper by itself um these tubs are normally 29.99 so that's definitely cheaper than the other um tubs out there but anyway here we go here's the artwork for this tub i think it's so cute bam i'm not gonna read the nutritional facts because we don't care but boom here's that and then as far as you know the sticker goes we got a cute little situation going on here. This is a cute sticker. It's really small. It's really adorable. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't think I'm going to, like, put it on anything. I might just leave it playing like this and just add it to my sticker collection. But, yeah, here's a sticker. It's really small, and it's really, really cute. So, boom. Now, we're going to move this box to the side really quick. I don't want to ruin the box because for some reason, it has, like, a longer tab on the side of the box, and it's kind of annoying. But anyway, so I'm going to crack this tub open and then we're going to go ahead and get ready. We're going to be using this shaker today. And you guys know, typical cold water bottle. We're going to be going ahead and doing that. So let me crack the seal on this and we're going to get ready to give this a smell. Now, I'm not going to include the can 
or the sparkling bottle for this because I already did videos on both of those. So like I said, you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and check those out if you guys want to kind of compare, you know, all the flavors together. I definitely have those done and uploaded on the channel. So anyway, we got it open. We're going to go ahead and give this bad boy a smell. It smells really, really light. Like it's barely even anything in there, to be, to be honest. Let me move this around a little bit. It's like a light pineapple, but like it's barely noticeable. And almost like, it doesn't really smell like anything. Okay. So it smells like a light pineapple and you do smell a lot of the strawberry. I don't really remember as to what the heck that can smelled like. All I remember whenever I think of M Bam Punch is pineapple. But for this one, the pineapple is not strong as far as the smell. I think I smell more of the strawberry um, in this one, which I'm really excited about. But anyway, we're gonna dish out this freaking scoop. Oh, here it is. But yeah, it smells really good. It does smell slightly different um, than the can does. That can was literally spot on pineapple to me. Even the sparkling bottle was literally pineapple as well. Like I didn't really smell too much of anything else. All right, let's get this water up in here. I'm really excited to taste this. I've been waiting for a minute for this flavor. All right, let's pour this in here. Alrighty, so guys, I say this in every video. When you guys make your uh, G Fuel, make sure you guys include four to five ice cubes to help dissolve the powder down. If you guys are gonna use a tall boy or whatever, you guys wanna include what? I'd say still four to five, maybe six ice cubes in there and shake for 30 seconds to a minute. Um, if you need to, you could probably taste it between um, to see if it needs shaken up more. Sometimes you need to shake it longer, but um, I normally do 30 seconds to a minute, guys. Let me show you guys a scoop. So for also the new people, let's move this. Everybody has questions as to like, when I do my samples, why does it seem like there's less powder in my sample baggies than, you know, with the regular energy formula. So guys, the scoop for hydration is a lot smaller than energy formula scoops. It's literally this size. See how small this is? So you're gonna tend to, um, get less powder with this. Like I said, the scoop is smaller. So for those who, you know, get samples from me, that's why. Um, it's less uh, servings in there and the scoop is smaller. You don't really need that much powder as you do with the energy formula. So that's why, you know, things may seem a little bit um, short. But anyway, normally for hydration, it is recommended to do 75% of a scoop. I'm not going to do 75% of a scoop because with my last video of the Spider-Man hydration, I needed to add, you know, a full scoop. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this a full scoop of, you know, the formula. Bam, bam. And we're going to put this to the side. I will be right back, guys. I'm going to give this a quick shake and then we're going to go ahead and smell it again and give it a taste. All right, here we have it. Here is the official color of Amp Bam Punch Hydration. So we have it here, shooken up. It's a really nice pinkish, reddish color. All right, so now it is time to give this another smell. Sometimes you guys, when it's mixed up, it smells different than the powder. So a lot of times, us as reviewers, we like to smell it twice. But here we go. Mmm, this smells really fruity. It smells really, really good, first of all, first and foremost. Like I said, I still smell more strawberry. But you do smell, like I said in the beginning, a light pineapple still. I think it smells the same as it does in its powder form. Now let's go ahead and give this a taste. I give this a 10 out of 10, hands down. But it like, it doesn't taste like the sparkling bottle. It tastes just like the can to me. But I wonder why like they made that taste different than that. It, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense. But to me, first of all, I give this hydration a 10 out of 10. I really like it, it's really enjoyable. 
so much releases man and for some reason it seems like when they're coming up with these hydrations they're really really doing a good job the spider-man was fire and this one's fire too bro i think you guys should definitely go out and um get a box or if you want to just get a plain tub of this flavor you guys definitely should it's really really good if you enjoy the cans you're definitely going to enjoy this i think this is more um they added more strawberry to it and i'm really really glad they did because like i said it seemed like m fam punch was literally based off of just pure pineapple um with this one you really get both of those flavors um in it and you get to actually taste the strawberry so like i said guys this uh flavor is definitely gonna get a 10 out of 10 for me i wish i would use ice because um i think it'll be 10 times better icy cold but that's the end of this video guys if you guys want to see any other reviews feel free to go ahead and give me um ideas in the comment section below i'm looking for lots of videos to do lots of ideas it's really hard coming up with these ideas by myself so if you guys have anything you guys want to see me review on this channel go ahead and let me know and again i will see you guys in the next video peace